goes. The bigger picture is anything passing should be part of central London. Geographically, it certainly is. And we've got a dotted line here showing that it's actually further north than Victoria and perhaps it's the region of the bend in the river that gives the sense that somehow the Elephant Castle is some lost quarter deep in south London. And what we attempted to do at the Elephant Castle is to turn the opportunity of that location in Huddersfield uh, into something that would really benefit the residents who live here, the residents of Huddersfield who will come and live here and work here in the future. That blue line there is the, is the larger uh, boundary of the Elephant Castle opportunity area. Yeah. And it's some wonderful character in there, as I've already said. There are all sorts of things. The Imperial War is here. We've got London University, uh, Stanford University over here, London College of Print. We've got some more down here, and we've got West Square over here. So lots of vibrant, characterful areas. And, uh, but at the heart of the Elephant Castle, of course, there's the shopping centre and the Haygate estate. These two big, large structures which are fundamentally preventing, I think, the Elephant Castle from prospering from its location making best use of its fantastic transport connections. <coughs> we have something like 12 river crossings within a kilometre of the centre of the Elephant Castle. We have a fantastic array of public transport, but unfortunately it's not quite as well connected perhaps as it should be. Uh, what was I pressing now? Sorry, I missed that last time. That one. Ah, thank you. There it is, uh, the centre of the Elephant Castle at the moment. Uh, there's a lot we can talk about there, but I think one of the things that I just want to bring your attention is just the issue of severance that there is at the Elephant Castle. Public massive rail system that runs through the heart of it. It's the Dinner Ring Road, Congestion Shark Bank. And that 1960s intervention in the form of the Haygate State Shopping Centre, that big engineering solution, really had the effect of splitting this area, which is such a well located area, and all the communities that we went around the hills, east and west. All we tried to do, great thought to it, and how we can start to put these places back together and to make this northern or southern of the and create a lot of places. With so much of some of the residents' needs. And this is fantastically well for their patient. They have the highest level of accessibility that you've got in the suburb. You really should be living a lot more. But I think pivotal to that is improving the quality of the public around the world. And just a very quick overview of the kind of way in which we're we'll trying to approach that. It is to say that the NBA state is truly located here. The shopping centre is located here. The railway line. This is a place that should be fundamentally remaster plan, if you like, and reordered to a place of rooms and open space. And this gives you a sense of more of a, a place of arrival than uh, uh, normal ground about it now. And the union space through there will be able to stay with the economy. Trying to make a better connectivity with the railway line. I think you know, the railway line is a fantastic asset for the area, uh, but unfortunately it's also a barrier to east west movement, and that's a problem all the way along the length of this railway line. So the great challenge really is to create and re-knit these pedestrian routes and make this a place that people can clearly and easily find their way through. Um, and finally, if I just put uh, Amelia Street into the, into the context of that, I, I probably got the, this is Amelia Street down here, the usual sense of how far we are from central the Elephant Castle, it's 200 metres, 400 metres, 600 metres. This is incredibly close to a very great, potentially great public transport system. It's really important, as I said before, that we make these connections. There's a couple of swatches that bring to your attention. One is this idea that we've had from the outset of creating this linear, this new pedestrian cycle which is along the edge of the railway line to the best connect these areas and then we've got potentially the, the railway arches to a whole range of different activities that perhaps are being used today. And we've seen a lot of developments along here, clearly Mini Street is one of those. On the other side of the railway line, we've got the Crampton Street scheme, and further north we've got the Piers Golf design. Uh, central building here. But there's a lot of activity here already, which is great. It's come on the back of the plan to see what's got to The other the rooms I wanted to point out is that we, we were trying, as I said before, to deal with this issue of segments all the way along the lower edge. We identified this idea of an uh, east west connection to the uh, railway arches, which connects across the Walsey Street. So that's it. I, I just say that this is a great, a great opportunity, I think, to show how we can do some early work bring some quality to the public realm and start to link it into this wider plan and demonstrate how what happens at the centre of the Elephant Castle can benefit everybody who lives around it further around.